the automotive industry. The Industrial Revolution was the transition from creating goods by hand to using machines. Its start and end are widely debated by scholars, but the period generally spanned from about 1760 to 1840. After completion of this video, everyone should be able to understand. First Industrial Revolution, coal in 1765. Second Industrial Revolution, gas in 1870. Third Industrial Revolution, Electronics and Nuclear in 1969. Fourth Industrial Revolution, Internet and Renewable Energy in 2000. The Cause and Effects of Industrial Revolution Welcome to Auto Multi-Solution YouTube channel. Please hit subscribe button, like and share this content to your friends and family. I'm Instructor Liam, from Auto Multi-Solution School. Welcome to Auto Multi-Solution School online coursework. We are here at Auto Multi-Solution Group YouTube channel, together with Eagles World Media, to give you quality and trusted services in three-way, mechanical engineering coursework teaching and trainings. Auto Multi-Solution Driving School Lessons and Practices. And entertainment competitions talent detection in young generation table talk show and celebrations are major keys in this area through eagles world media event so you are welcome to our youtube channel Let's dive into our course work. Keep in touch with us to grow your understanding about mechanics and career opportunities. Motor Vehicle Mechanics Technology Lessons Number 2 Industrial Revolution Hello everyone. Welcome to Auto Multi-Solution Group YouTube channel. I'm Instructor Liam, from Auto Multi-Solution School. Welcome to Auto Multi-Solution School online coursework. If you are new here, please hit subscribers button. Click on the notification bell ring for new updates of the next videos. And like the video as well. If any comments please let us know what you think, write in the comment box, and then share this content to your friends, family, and relatives. The Industrial Revolution was the transition from creating goods by hand to using machines. Its start and end are widely debated by scholars, but the period generally spanned from about 1760 to 1840. There are four industrial revolutions. First Industrial Revolution, coal in 1765. Second Industrial Revolution, gas in 1870. Third Industrial Revolution, Electronics and Nuclear in 1969. Fourth Industrial Revolution, Internet and Renewable Energy in 2000. The four industrial revolutions which are coal, gas, electronics and nuclear, and the Internet and Renewable Energy, their beginning was from 1765 through the present day. We've seen an amazing evolution nowadays, as we discovered different energy sources and later, digital technologies, the entire landscape of the modern world has been transformed over and over. Here's a brief primer on the four industrial revolutions. First Industrial Revolution, Coal in 1765 
The original Industrial Revolution transformed our economy from agriculture to industry. Processes became mechanized and products were manufactured for the first time. During this period, the discovery of coal and its mass extraction, as well as the development of the steam engine and metal forging completely changed the way goods were produced and exchanged. Inventions such as spinning machines and looms to make fabric were making their appearance. Canal transportation began replacing wagon and mules for moving around these goods. Second Industrial Revolution, Gas in 1870 as the first industrial revolution was driven by coal, the second revolved around the discovery of electricity, gas, and oil. The invention of the combustion engine went hand in hand with these fuel sources. Both steel and chemically based products entered the market during this time. Developments in communication technology got a jump start with the telegraph and later the telephone. Transportation grew by leaps and bounds with the invention of the plane and car. Mechanical production grew in speed through the advent of mass production. Third Industrial Revolution, Electronics and Nuclear in 1969. After another hundred years, nuclear energy and electronics enter the landscape. Nuclear power began in Europe, grew in both Great Britain and the United States, went into remission for years, and grew in Asia. Fourth Industrial Revolution, Internet and Renewable Energy in 2000. As we continue moving through the Fourth Industrial Revolution, we see a shift to renewable energy such as solar, wind and geothermal. However, the momentum comes not from the shift in energy but from the acceleration of digital technology. The Internet and the digital world mean a real-time connection within more and more components of a production line, both inside and outside facility walls. As the development of the industrial Internet of Things, cloud technology, and artificial intelligence continue, a virtual world will merge with the physical world. Predictive maintenance and real-time data will lead to smarter business decisions and work order solutions for a myriad of companies around the world. What was Industrial Revolution and its effects? Sweeping social changes occurred, including the growth of cities and the development of working-class movements. Urban areas grew rapidly as rural populations flocked to the cities for work. For millions of laborers, industrialization often meant substandard wages and working conditions. Industrial Revolution Causes and Effects Causes of Industrial Revolution the Industrial Revolution began in Britain in the 1760s, largely with new developments in the textile industry. Spinning Jenny The spinning jenny invented by James Hargreaves could spin eight threads at the same time, it greatly improved the textile industry. Before that time 1760s making cloth was a slow process. After wool was gathered it had to be spun into yarn and then woven into fabric by hand. A machine called a spinning jenny, first conceived by James Hargreaves in 1764, made it easier to spin yarn. In 1793 Eli Whitney invented the cotton. Gin, which helped clean cotton after it was picked. These and other devices permitted increased production with a smaller expenditure of human energy. Whitney also came up with the idea of interchangeable parts. Before a worker would spend a great deal of time making a single product by hand. Whitney discovered that a machine could make many copies of the individual parts of a product at once. The parts could then be assembled by any worker. This meant that many goods could be produced quickly. Other changes that helped bring about the Industrial Revolution included the use of steam, and later of other kinds of power, in place of the muscles of human beings and of animals. Glass Factory Workers make bottles at a glass factory in Lancashire, England, in the mid-1800s. Welcome Library, London. Another key development was the adoption of the factory system. This system of manufacturing is based on the concentration of industry into specialized and often large establishments. The use of water power and then the steam engine to mechanize processes such as cloth weaving in Britain in the second half of the 18th century marked the beginning of the factory system. Effects of Industrial Revolution The Industrial Revolution brought about sweeping changes in economic and social organization. These changes included a wider distribution of wealth and increased international trade. 
managerial hierarchies also developed to oversee the division of labor. By the late 1700s many people could no longer earn their living in the countryside. Increasingly, people moved from farms and villages into bigger towns and cities to find work in factories. Cities grew larger, but they were often dirty, crowded, and unhealthy. Machines greatly increased production. This meant that products were cheaper to make and also cheaper to buy. Many factory owners became rich. Although the machines made work easier in some ways, factory work created many problems for the laborers. Factory employees did not earn much, and the work was often dangerous. Many worked 14 to 16 hours per day six days per week. Men, women, and even small children worked in factories. Library of Congress, Washington, D.C. workers sought to win improved conditions and wages through labor unions. These organizations helped establish laws to protect workers. Such laws, for instance, limited the number of work hours for employees and guaranteed they would be paid a certain amount. The process of industrialization continues around the world, as do struggles against many of its negative effects, such as industrial pollution and urban crowding. Industrial Revolution Key Facts A map depicting the spread of the Industrial Revolution through Europe in the 19th century. The term Industrial Revolution refers to the process of change in modern history from a farming and handicraft economy to one dominated by industry and machine manufacturing. The process began in Britain, where the Industrial Revolution was largely confined from the 1760s to the 1830s. From Britain the revolution spread gradually throughout Europe and to the United States and other parts of the world. During the Industrial Revolution factories were built to house machines and workers. The most important of the changes that brought about the Industrial Revolution were, 1, the invention of machines to do the work of hand tools, 2, the use of steam and later of other kinds of power, and 3, the adoption of the factory system. The machines that ushered in the Industrial Revolution were mostly invented in the last third of the 18th century. Earlier in the century, however, a few inventions had been made that opened the way for the later machines. One was the crude, slow-moving steam engine built by Thomas Newcomer in 1712. Another was John Kay's flying shuttle, 1733, which enabled one person to handle a wide loom more rapidly than two persons could operate it before. As the flying shuttle sped up weaving, the demand for cotton yarn increased. Many inventors set to work to improve the spinning wheel. By 1770 James Hargreaves, a weaver, had patented his spinning jenny, the first practical application of multiple spinning by a machine. James Watt, Steam Engine While textile machinery was developing, progress was being made in other directions. In the 1760s James Watt, a Scottish mechanic, made major improvements on the inefficient Newcomen steam engine. Watt was given a patent for his steam engine in 1769, the Watt engine was later utilized in various types of mills as well as distilleries and waterworks. Technological changes during the Industrial Revolution also included the wide use of basic materials, such as iron and steel. Electricity, petroleum, and the internal combustion engine also emerged as new energy sources. Industrialization led to a new organization of work known as the factory system, which entailed increased division of labor and specialization of function. Robert Fulton's first steamboat, later called the Claremont, makes its first voyage, from New York, to Albany on the Hudson River, in 1807. Important developments in transportation and communications occurred, including, the steam locomotive, steamboat, automobile, airplane, electric telegraph, radio, and telephone. Technological changes tremendously increased the use of natural resources. With the spread of industrialization in empire-building countries, overseas, colonies were exploited for their raw materials and became markets for manufactured products. There were also many new developments in non-industrial spheres. Agricultural improvements, for instance, made possible the provision of food for a larger non-agricultural population. Economic changes resulted in a wider distribution of wealth, the decline of land as a source of wealth in the face of rising industrial production, and increased international trade. Sweeping social changes occurred, including the growth of cities and the development of working-class movements. Urban areas grew rapidly as rural populations flocked to the cities for work. For millions of laborers, industrialization often meant substandard wages and working conditions. 
workers periodically went on strike to force owners to meet their demands for better conditions. Other countries lagged behind Britain in industrializing, but once Germany, the United States, and Japan achieved industrial power, they outstripped Britain's initial successes. Eastern European counties lagged into the 20th century, and not until the mid-20th century did the industrial revolution spread to such countries as China and India. James Watt's engine displaced Thomas Newton's slow, clumsy steam-pumping engine. Watt's engine had a flywheel, crank, and steam governor. Industrial Revolution Begins in Great Britain About 1764 James Hargreaves conceives the idea for a yarn-spinning machine called the Spinning Jenny, which he patents in 1770. Another influential innovation is James Watt's steam engine. In 1764, while repairing a Newcomen steam engine, Watt notices that it wastes a lot of steam. Watt develops a way to improve the Newcomen machine and in 1769 receives a patent for his own steam engine, which will be widely utilized during the Industrial Revolution. Spinning Mule Samuel Crompton invented the spinning mule, a machine used to spin cotton and other fibers, in 1779. It was improved by Richard Roberts, who patented an automatic mule in 1825. Is the first to use Watt's steam engine to power textile machinery. By 1775 Arkwright develops mills in which the whole process of yarn manufacture is carried on by one machine. Arkwright is later recognized as the father of the modern industrial factory system. In 1779 Samuel Crompton invents the spinning mule, a cross, between machines invented by Arkwright and Hargreaves. The spinning mule permits large-scale manufacture of high-quality thread and yarn. 1780s Edmund Cartwright invents a crude power loom, first patented in 1785. This is the predecessor of the modern power loom. That year Cartwright sets up a weaving and spinning factory in Doncaster, Yorkshire, England. In 1789 he patents the first wool combing machine. 1890, Samuel Slater, a former apprentice to Jedediah Strutt, partner of Arkwright, constructs versions of Arkwright's machinery and establishes a cotton mill in Pawtucket, Rhode Island, the first successful cotton mill in the United States. Meanwhile, in Georgia, Eli Whitney invents the cotton gin, a machine for cleaning cotton of its seeds. Whitney later develops the concept of mass production of interchangeable parts. C. 1807 Two Englishmen, William and John Cockerill, bring the Industrial Revolution to Belgium by developing machine shops at Liège. Belgium will become the first country in continental Europe to be transformed economically. 1811-13 Social opposition to industrialization begins to arise. Luddites, people opposed to industrialization, attack factories in a number of towns across Great Britain, destroying textile machinery, which is displacing them. The textile craftsmen who participate in these attacks generally eschew violence against persons and often enjoy the support of locals in these areas. The term Luddite is now used broadly to signify individuals or groups opposed to technological change. 1834-59 Lock Stitch Sewing Machine Invented by Elias Howe, c. 1846, the United States Cyrus McCormick invents several machines used to mechanize farming. His mechanical reaper, patented in 1834, revolutionizes harvesting, making it quicker and easier. Elias Howe's sewing machine, patented in 1846, makes the manufacture of clothing less expensive. In 1859 Edwin Drake completes the drilling of the first productive oil well in the United States, near Titusville, Pennsylvania. 1862-69 The United States begins building a transcontinental railroad in 1862 to connect the East Coast with the West Coast. Work progresses from both sides of the country, meeting at Promontory, Utah, in 1869. Alexander Graham Bell patents his telephone. Networks of telephone lines are built quickly across the United States. In 1879 Thomas Edison introduces the modern age of light when he invents the incandescent light bulb. He later supervises the installation of the world's first permanent commercial central power system, in Lower Manhattan, New York. The system becomes operative in 1882. Electricity is later applied to driving all kinds of machinery. Electric lighting quickly spreads across the United States and is soon adopted in Europe. 1903 First flight by Orville Wright, December 17, 1903. Orville Wright beginning the first successful controlled flight in history, at Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, December 17, 1903. At Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, 
aviation pioneers Orville and Wilbur Wright achieved the first powered, sustained, and controlled airplane flight. Late 19th and 20th centuries, to the stages of Ford Motor Company's assembly lines producing the coupe, runabout, and Tudor sedan mass production of the Ford Model T by bringing parts to the assembly line on a conveyor system and by limiting assembly. Workers to simple, repetitive tasks, the Ford Motor Company was able to produce thousands of Model Ts a day. This film clip from the mid-1920s shows the coupe, the runabout, and the Tudor sedan rolling out of the assembly plant. There is mounting evidence of what has been called a second industrial revolution, despite overlap with the first. Many new products are devised, and important advances are made in the system of mass production. In 1913, for instance, Henry Ford introduces assembly line methods in the manufacture of his Model T Ford. Parts are assembled on a moving conveyor belt, and the Model T takes shape as it moves from one workstation to the next. The assembly line greatly increases the speed of manufacture and soon is used in many industries. Developments in machines, tools, and computers later give rise to the automatic factory. Please check out the next video for this lesson and many others that will follow. Make sure, you subscribe to Auto Multi Solution Group YouTube channel, click on the notification bell ring for new updates of the next videos, and like the video as well. If any comments please let us know what you think, write in the comment box. Auto Multi Solution Group Management thanks to Eagles World Media for kind support in filming, editing, and publishing even sharing this videos to public. You're the best. We are really grateful for your kind support. Thanks for watching. See you then. The End